Hey yo, what is good? So going into today, my plan was to um, bullish um, long 60s if we get a breakout. And we got a breakout overnight right here. I actually longed on this breakout at 62 and just put my stop loss down here. And I sold it when I woke up when we were at 82. Um, then we came back all the way down almost to 60s. Um, I'm pretty sure we came back to, yeah, we came back to this high of yesterday, and then we rallied off of that. So pretty close to 60s would have been a great spot to look long. Um, once we made this low, I drew a line between the low, that low, and yesterday's high, and we ended up going down into here. I ended up buying down here and sold for 10 points. Um, so going into tomorrow... Um, as you can see, we're still in a bullish trend. We have this huge gap right here um, below us. And then on a higher time frame, I'm expecting still, um, as long as we're holding over 60s, which is my going to be probably my line in the sand, will still be a pivot going forward. Um, but I'm not expecting it to hit just because I'm bullish. I don't really necessarily expect us to dip, though we could. Um, my targets are going to be up here at 4100 and here at 41.20, 41.30. And up here, I'm going to entertain some shorts because I think once we get up here, um, if you look at NASDAQ, we will probably be near this high or in between this high and this other level that I have up here. And on the ES chart, we're kinda, we kind of have this bigger balance, right? And that would be a low volume node if we're able to get to 41.30. So I think if we get to both of those spots at the same time, on ES and NASDAQ, I think that would be a good um, short location. So if if it's looking good, I will look too short up here um, in this red zone right here. But so far, um, I'm going to add a couple more levels in case we don't interact with 60s. Um, just the kind of the ledges that we created today on the volume profile. So if we look at the profile, um, I'm going to create an extending rectangle. Okay, let me... So the top of it is going to be around 85s. And the bottom I'm going to put at 73. And so 73 provided a good reaction there and right here. And it was also the high um, right here. So when we had that um, FOMC Fed meeting... Um, that's where the high was, so that level will be important, and then the 85 ledge. So pivots are really just going to be 60, and then 73 and 85, and then I'm still looking bullish. Um, before I become bearish, I want us to get a lot of inventory up here, and then see it get trapped, or just see a euphoric run up into that um, short zone that I have up here at 4130.